So, topic for today is uh, about na uh, stomach naman, stomach functions. Okay. So, ang stomach is responsible for reception and ripening of food. Stomach begins transformation of food by separating the food into pure and impure aspects. So, yun pinag The pure parts, uh, tinatawag natin essence or the nutrients, are sent to spleen. The impure parts are passed on to the small intestine. Okay? Uh, since food after decomposing in stomach passes onto the intestines, stomach governs downbearing of turbid. This downward actions action stands in complementary opposition to spleen's function of extracting the essence. Okay. Spleen governs unbearing up bearing of the clear. I sorry po. Spleen governs up bearing of the clear. Stomach and spleen stand in exterior, interior relationship and are basis for postnatal chi. Okay. Stomach is referred to as the source of fluids or sea of grain and water. It requires fluids to prepare food for spleen. Okay. Uh, it's, let's go to stomach relationships. Uh, spleen and stomach. Spleen and stomach stand in interior, exterior relationship. Physiologically, spleen governs transformation, uh, transportation and transformation, T and T, and stomach governs intake. So, exterior, interior. Stomach and spleen complement and counterbalance each other. Although stomach disorders have to be differentiated from spleen disorders diagnostically, it is often seen in daily practice that the disorder of either spleen or stomach affect the partner organ as well. Maraming magkasama. Okay? Uh, stomach and liver. Liver governs harmonious flow of chi. If energy and emotions flow freely, harmonious digestion can happen. Okay? If liver's free coursing action is impaired, there, there is depression of the liver. Chi affects digestive function. The liver attacks the stomach. Okay. Uh, let's go to stomach pathology. Mm, deficiency patterns. Stomach G deficiency. Stomach in deficiency. Excess patterns. Re rebellious stomach chi. Stomach cold. Stomach fire. Retention of food in stomach. Phlegm heat in the stomach. Okay, let's go to stomach chi deficiency. Stomach chi is weakened, so the stomach's function of food intake and decomposition is impaired. Ayan po yung tura sa dila. Okay? Okay, ayan po yung dila. Stomach chi deficiency and spleen chi deficiency are clo connected closely. Stomach chi deficiency can be considered an initial stage of stomach cold. Okay? Cardinal symptoms, fatigue, lack of appetite, decreased tears, loss of taste, soft stool, uncomfortable feeling in epigastrium, uh, better with touch. Okay. Empty pulse in stomach position. Okay. Uh, stomach indeficiency, initial stage of, of stomach fire. Tingnan niyo po yung dila. Pialed yung salita. Okay. Cardinal symptoms, hunger without appetite, thirst without desire to drink, dry mouth, constipation, pain in epigastrium, vertical tongue cracks, no tongue coating. Tingnan nyo po rin yung dila. Okay? Uh, Rebellious stomach chi pa rin. Impaired harmonious downbearing of stomach. Stomach chi is ascending and counter, counter flows up opposite on its normal direction. Okay? Uh, cardinal symptoms, nausea, vomiting, belching, hiccup, hiccup, and heartburn. Stomach cold naman, result and further complication of stomach G deficiency. Okay. Uh, cardinal symptoms, stomach pain relieved by warmth. Pre preference for warm drinks and food. Absence of thirst. 
vomiting of clear liquids. Okay? Stomach fire. Yun yung result and further complication of stomachine deficiency. Notice po yung tang ulit. Uh, okay. Mapula sa gitna. Walang feel. Feel siya. Walang coating. Ah, wala. uh, cardinal symptoms ng stomach fire is thirst. Our tears, desire for cold drinks, bad breath, burning pain in epigastrium, excessive appetite, and bleeding gums. Okay. Retention of food in the stomach naman. It arises when food is not decomposed in stomach and is attributed to dietary irregularities. Yung voracious eating and drinking. Katakawang baga. <laughs> okay. Cardinal symptoms. Vomiting after eating, pain in epigastrium that worsens with eating, loss of appetite, sensation of oppression, and fullness. Okay. Flame heat in the stomach, yun yung, it can develop from stomach fire or from damp heat in the spleen. The heat condenses and then dampness into phlegm. It condenses dampness into phlegm, okay? Uh, cardinal symptoms, burning pain in epigastrium, feeling of oppression in epigastrium, yellow, tongue coating, mouth ulcers. Okay. 